Hi, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis, and I thought I'd do something a little different today. I am in the parking lot outside my doctor's building and getting ready to go into an appointment, and um, I am not looking forward to this at all. I've been not looking forward to it for months, and I thought I might talk you through what I do to calm myself down to see the the anti-anxiety practices that I talk about uh, to see them in action. Um, so this is just a follow-up appointment. It's a fairly routine thing, not a big deal, except that A, doctor's appointments or doctor's offices, healthcare offices in general, tend to be kind of my perfect storm of sensory hell. Um, the fluorescent lights give me migraines, often within about 20 minutes, that could last for a couple of days. So I do a number of things to protect me from the fluorescent lights, um, but they still hurt, and I usually end up walking away with at least a headache. Um, the temperature is often cold, and I'm very sensitive to temperature. I am fully supportive of COVID masking, but the feel of anything on my face is like, it, it's like an electric shock to my nervous system. It's really, really hard for me to keep a mask on my face for more than a couple of minutes. And even a few seconds contact is um, really hard for me and it works me up. Just thinking about it now is I'm getting a little bit of worked up about it. Um, I have medical trauma in my history. I've worked through a lot of it and I am getting better, but it's still there and I'm still dealing with the effects of it. Um, and various other things, pointed questions, very personal stuff. And this particular appointment, even though it's theoretically a routine follow-up, their instructions for it were rather vague. They need to do some blood work and the instructions were, get here a few minutes early and go to the lab on the first floor and they'll take some blood and the doctor can check it in the appointment. And that is both um, unclear instructions and that was the clearest it got after I asked them three times to explain it. Um, what is a few minutes early? How long do they actually need for this blood test to be run so that the doctor can have the results? Like, that is the second part. That runs counter to everything that I know in my history of medical appointments, which are extensive about how long it takes for blood work to get done. So that conflict inside me is not helping my stress level. So, um, all right, so here's the thing is I've already spent some time identifying what it is that's stressing me out. It's the sensory stuff. I have some things with me that I can help to take care of the sensory stuff or at least to reduce its impact. I have a hat, I have um, fluorescent light filtering glasses, um, I have a mask that I can deal with better than other ones, still not great, but at least I can keep it on my face for a few minutes. Um, I have some sense, some fidget toys, some things that help me out. Uh, so I can deal with that stuff, but also just the, the psychological part, the what is going on here. So the vague instructions and the conflict in my head between how I, my experience has shown that blood tests generally work and the the short time span so that is so those are the two main sources of stress apart from the sensory thing um apart from just generally not liking most doctor's appointments um and so identifying what it is that i have a problem with helps because then it's not everything is bad it's okay there's two things I did talk to someone who has experience at this place and they said that the blood test can actually come back in a few minutes 
and I looked up a map of the place to identify where the lab is so that I will feel a little bit more confident coming here. So I can't make all of it perfect, but I can reduce the sources of my specific stress. Um, also, I've been trying not to think about the appointment because I want to live through it once, not a thousand times. Now, of course, I'm not entirely successful with only thinking about it when I'm actually there, but when it comes up and I start ruminating, I've been talking myself through, I'm having the thought that I can't deal with this, but I can. I have dealt with lots of doctor's appointments in the past and I can get through this one too. It might be a little confusing and I don't like that, but I've dealt with lots of confusing things in the past and I can deal with this one too. And I've talked to myself like that and just said, okay, when I, when I get there, I will deal with it. Now, of course, it's just before the appointment, so um, it's, it's actually natural to think about it more often. And I listened to some music on the way here, Dr. Hor Horrible's Sing Along blog, which is kind of my go-to psych myself up for something that I don't want to do, music. And also my go-to psych myself up for something that I'm really enjoying, music. Um, <laughs> Multi-purpose. And so it's helped me kind of feel better in my nervous system. But as I'm talking you through this, I'm going through a whole range of stress reactions and I'm about to go in. <sighs> I don't know if this is even helpful. Maybe it's just watching someone get psyched out. Anyway, I'm about to go in and, okay, this is going to sound totally corny, but this is literally what I do before any kind of doctor's visits or anything that I have to deal with that's really unpleasant is I, my eyes close, I kind of just shut down. I can't look at the video screen much anymore. Um, when I go in, I'm probably going to be walking with my head down and staring at the floor and, um, yeah, I'm eye rubbing again. Um, okay. I'm feeling my heart beat getting faster. I'm feeling my chest feeling tighter. My shoulders are all hunched. My jaw is really tight. I'm noticing these sensations. My hands want to clench and want to rub things, rub different parts of my legs, rub my face, scratch my head. Um, I'm just noticing what's going on in my physical reactions to this. And I'm actually trying to key into that more, not push it away, get grounded into it. Just notice Yep, my shoulders are really tight. Yep, I'm rubbing things. Yep, I'm breathing a little more shallowly. Okay, just notice that. There's nothing wrong with it. This is simply a stress reaction. And my body is trying to take care of me. It's trying to prepare me for something that I'm anticipating to be unpleasant. But yeah, that's another thing is this kind of pain, not like the pain that's in my knee right now that is physically hurting, but any kind of stress pain, psychological pain, it's all either anticipated pain or remembered pain. And I'm remembering lots of pain right now, but that's in the past, it's over with. Right now, I am safe. I'm anticipating that this will be unpleasant, but right now, I am safe. Right now, I am just sitting in the car and nothing is happening to me. Right now, Nothing bad is happening. 
I might be talking to some people in a few minutes that will be confusing and might be a little bit stressful, but right now I am just sitting in a car and nothing bad is happening to me. Right now I am safe. And in a few minutes when that happens, I will deal with it. But right now I am safe. Right now nothing is happening to me. I'm noticing that my breathing is getting a little bit slower, a little bit deeper, all on its own. I'm not trying to make it do anything, it's just happening. Because right now, I am safe. Right now, I am just sitting in a car, nothing bad is happening to me. Right now, I am safe. And in a minute, I'm gonna get out of the car, and I'm gonna walk over there. And I'm just gonna be walking. Nothing bad is gonna happen to me. I'm just gonna be walking. It's about a half a block to the building. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna walk around the first floor and find the lab. And I'll get the freaking lab done. I've had lots of labs done before. It's unpleasant, but I can get through it. And right now, I am safe. Right now, nothing is happening to me. I'm just sitting in a car. Right now, I am safe. And it sounds totally cheesy, but I literally talk to myself like this, sometimes in my head, sometimes even out loud. And it just helps me get through it. It doesn't make everything poof better, but it helps me get through it. And I will talk to myself th this way the entire time. Right now, this is all that's happening, and I am safe. Right now, I am safe. In a few minutes, I'll deal with whatever comes, but right now, I am safe. Right now, nothing is happening to me. I'm just walking, I'm just sitting, I'm just standing here, I'm just stimming. And yes, I will stem publicly. Um, that is not an endorsement. That is not a you should. This is simply what I do. And this is how I get through it. All right, I'm going to go now. And I'll... I, I will hopefully remember and be able to check in with you afterwards and just say that it all went okay. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye-bye. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I'm back. Um, <clears throat> need a few minutes to decompress. <sighs> That was not too terrible. Not great, but not too terrible. Okay. Well, um, they did not, in fact, have the blood work done. I went in a half an hour early, and um, they said, oh yeah, that's fine, plenty of time. And when I got up to the doctor's office, they did not have the blood work done. Even after the whole appointment was over, it still wasn't back. But at least that wasn't the main thing. And uh, still got the rest of the appointment done, which was the much more important part. Oh, I can scoot my seat back. I didn't think about that earlier. Okay. This is clearly a totally unfiltered, unedited thing. Um, also, I... When I'm in a mild or moderate stress mode, I notice that I get chatty and 
tend to smile a lot even though I'm not happy um but when it gets like really intensely stressful I go complete flat affect and shut down and um so noticing that I'm not completely shutting down that I'm able to talk to you that um <laughs> my weird thing where I smile when I'm unhappy, I like I get bad news and I smile, that's just my reaction, I don't know why. Um, it's not like a happy smile, I do know the difference, it feels different. It's like a nervous thing, I don't know, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I get chatty when I'm in moderate stress. Um, so noticing that is a good sign that I am not in complete shutdown. So I'm just reminding myself, I'm actually saying that aloud in order to remind myself that it is not as bad as it could be. I am handling it. This is not pleasant, but I am handling it. <sighs> okay, noticing my body, there's a a lot of tension in my entire upper torso, uh, my entire torso, in my entire upper body. I'm conflating words again, again a sign of stress, and it's okay because I'm dealing with it. I am still here, and I had my hat, and I had my fidgets, and I jumped around a little bit, and I was able to advocate for my needs to ask for the lights to be off and the nurse didn't give me too much of a hassle. Actually, rephrasing that, reframing it, um, not just words, but like actually reframing it in my head. She did not actually give me a hassle at all. She was questioning and trying to figure out what combination of lights, and because there was two different lights um, in the room, what combination could let her see enough to write her notes, but be l as low as possible. So she was troubleshooting in order to meet my requests, which took several trial and errors, and that was an unpleasant experience, but she was not actually giving me a hard time about it. I know what that looks like, what a genuine giving me a hard time about it is, and that was not it. So it's good to differentiate for myself and my own mental health that she was trying to accommodate and still meet her needs because she needed to be able to see her paper. Um, and we did get a compromise worked out um, that worked. I just pulled my hat down lower to help, and that worked. And the doctor was very pleasant, in fact. He let me turn off all the lights, except for his little um, camera, or not camera, computer light. He was able to do that. It worked out just fine for him. And he was quite pleasant and basically said that the results are, um, not much has changed, and he'd like to follow up again in six months. And he'll give me a call, or the nurse will give me a call when the blood tests come back because they still weren't back. And I have a slight feeling of vindication that, see, I was right. It's gonna take more than a few minutes. <laughs> that's probably not a very helpful feeling, but that's my feeling. Anyway, at least it didn't ruin the appointment, the fact that the labs weren't back yet, um, which was part of my concern. <sighs> okay, stretching out, noticing my inside, noticing my body feelings, just getting grounded in the moment, like in the present, reviewing a little bit of what helped, what happened does help me. <sighs> that way I can kind of cycle it through my system and being present in the moment. Okay, so right now I am just sitting in a car and nothing bad is happening to me. I'm just sitting in the car. 
and I am doing what I need to do to calm down. I'm rubbing my legs. Um, I find that putting some pressure on my thighs, rubbing from the top to the bottom, sometimes the bottom to the top, but I find more the top to the bottom works well. It, it's a little muscle massage, I guess. I don't know exactly why it works, but it does seem to. And when I cross my arms and left hand on the right thigh and right hand on the left thigh, that gives a different sensation. I go back and forth sometimes and the combination does help. Shaking it out. There's a very interesting thing that happens. Most animals do not do this rumination, by the way. Something scary happens, a predator, predator comes, scares them, they run away, um, fight or flight saves their life, hopefully, um, or it doesn't, and then they don't have worries anymore. But um, they get away and then they physically shake it off. And then they just go back to grazing or doing whatever they were gonna do. They don't ruminate on it, but that physical shaking, like you'll see dogs do this, you'll see deer do this in the wood, like um, it helps the blood, it helps the, um, the nervous system release the cortisol out of the bloodstream. And in our society, we, like, like people do this too, like when you just, been in a near accident in a car or something a few minutes later you might start shaking our society teaches us that that's a bad thing that we're supposed to control it and not shake but it's actually the inherent response to our nervous system to help us release the cortisol so that it doesn't last as long the experience completes and we can use that intentionally to just shake physically shake or get up and jump around or move in some way physical movement but for some reason shaking works really well and my brain is not fully online otherwise i could probably explain why i do know this information but right now i don't really have access to all of that but maybe another video sometime anyway um it helps to complete the experience and then moving on and i'm actually noticing that my breathing is slowing and my nervous system is calming. My arms are moving a little bit more easily, a little more smoothly. I don't feel as rigid and um, I don't know how to describe it. Like the only image I'm getting is like a robot that has joints that need to be oiled or something. Like when I'm really stressed, I feel like that robot that needs to be oiled or I my mov movements are very jerky and um, stiff but I'm moving a little bit more easily now <sighs> feeling like I can handle it I'm going to do this a for a few more minutes let myself wind down relax in the car on my own turn the video off in a second you don't need to watch that for another 10 minutes or so but then I'm gonna go ahead and drive because I'm feeling like I'll be able to to drive safely in a few um, but for now I'm just sitting in a parking lot and I am okay I'm just sitting here and I am safe I'm taking care of myself and in this moment I am safe other things will happen later and I will deal with them then but right now I am safe Right now, I am okay. <clears throat> All right. I have no idea if any of this is helpful or if it's just working you up, getting, watching someone get stressed out. Um, if that's all that's happening, I hope that you turned it on, turned it off ages ago. Anyway, um, but <sighs> anyway. I'm going to say goodbye now. Take care.